Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on pharmacological classification of drugs. In this video, I will explain the drug classification and drug therapy of hypertension. The normal blood pressure reading is 120 by 80. Anything above than 140 by 90 is considered as hypertension. So the drugs which are used to control this hypertension are known as antihypertensive agents. Now broadly antihypertensive agents can be classified into three major classes. Diuretics, sympatholytics, vasodilators. Now in diuretics again we have three classes are there. Thiazide diuretics. Example of drugs are hydrochlorothiazide, chlorthalidone, indapamide. Second one, loop diuretics. Drugs in this category are furosemide, bumetamide, torsamide. Third one, potassium sparing diuretics. Drugs in this category are spironolactone, eplerinone, triamterine, amyloride. Now, second class is sympatholytics or agents which are reducing sympathetic outflow. In this class, there are four subclasses are there. Alpha blockers, prejosin, terajosin, doxajosin, tamsulosin. Beta blockers, propranolol, etanolol, Esmolol, Metoprolol. Alpha and beta blockers, Lebitolol, Carvidolol. Centrally acting alpha blockers like Clonidine, Methyl Dopa. Now, coming to the third group, Vasodilators. In this class, you have three different classes are there. Drugs affecting renin angiotensin system, calcium channel blockers, and miscellaneous Vasodilators. Now, coming to drugs acting renin angiotensin system, they reduce the release of angiotensin 2. Angiotensin causes vasoconstriction. So when this angiotensin 2 release is reduced, it will indirectly cause vasodilation. Hence, these drugs are considered as vasodilators. Now, in this class, there are three subclasses are there. A's inhibitors, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, all prills, captopril, phosphonapril, lisinopril, ramipril comes under this category. Second class is ARBs, angiotensin receptor blockers. All sartens comes under this category. Telmisartin, olmisartin, herbisartin, all of them comes under this category. Now, third one is renin inhibitor, aliskiren, a single drug is there. So, all of them affecting renin angiotensin system. Now, the other class in vasodilator is calcium channel blockers. Drugs in this category are virapamil, diltiazem, amlodipine, nifedipine, felodipine kind of drugs. Now, the miscellaneous class, you have arterial vasodilators like minoxidil, hydrolyzin are there. Arterial and venous vasodilators like sodium nitroproside are there. So, this is the broad cl classification of antihypertensive agents. Coming to the drug therapy, if someone is diagnosed with hypertension, the first line drugs are diuretics, beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, and in certain populations, calcium channel blockers. Calcium channel blockers are preferred in elderly age people. The other one, if someone has got hypertensive emergencies, intravenous sodium nitroproside is given. Now, in pregnant women, hypertension can be easily managed by methyl dopa. This is the safest drug in pregnant women. Now, in pregnant women, to treat eclampsia, preeclampsia, intravenous hydrolyzine is given. Now, in case of severe eclampsia or to avoid eclamptic convulsions, magnesium sulfate is used. So, this is about the classification and drug therapy of hypertension. Thank you for watching this video.